Okay, and we are back. This is Bell Geode, and this is part two of Drooling Over Gita. Yes. Alright, so I made some slight changes with OBS. Um, actually turned down the resolution a little bit, and I'm not getting the high encoding thing, which means hopefully we should be okay. No more stuttering, no more pauses, no more of that kind of stuff. And Gita's staring at me again. Hi, Gita. You doing? Want a picture taken? Is that what it is? Fine, I'll take your picture. The camera loves you, baby. The camera loves you. Okay, so I believe what we were going to do next was grab a couple of quests from these dudes in here. Hi. Got a quest for me? Yes, you do. It's a simple problem, they say. Hmm. Reduce the number of guys that get in the way. Oh, I'm all about that. I can do that. I'll give it aid bowel action. What? Wait, am I giving them laxatives? Uh, okay. I'll do it. Damn, the Valkyrie's work is never done. And apparently this dude's got a quest, so talk to me. And the signal from north, blah, 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 blah. Rescue the prisoners. Okay. I can do this. I'm all over this. Have my money when I get back. Appreciate it, thanks. And there's this guy over here. Oh, sorry lady, I didn't mean to bump into you. Whoa. Hold on a sec, I gotta look at this. Hmm. How practical would you say is this armor? I don't know about that. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever works for you, lady. I will take my nifty little purple dress and that'll be it for me. Dangerous big. Okay, got it. Something about disease and something, something, something and a jailbreak. Ooh, cue the thin Lizzie. Tonight is going to be a jailbreak. Alright, so we are going back over here and already I see my targets. Yes! Okay. Killed Karume without shoes. Well, that's accurate. They're not wearing shoes. Alright. Take your loot. Thank you. Should be a little bit better. How's that looking, by the way? Is that looking any better? There's two. Grab that. Come on, son. Come on! Ouch! Well, you know what? That's what I get for uh, showing off. Alright, there's three. Need two more. Hmm. I guess I gotta go across the street. Fine. I love the fact that the uh, Valkyrie's weapons are not immediately evident. But, of course, when you draw them, they just kind of appear out of nowhere, and the shield, like, gets bigger. I think that's pretty cool. I haven't seen that too much in various games, so that's an interesting little way to do it. Here's you. You've been flipped, son! You've been flipped. And there's this guy. Looks like he's getting ready to pee in that bush. No! No! That's rude! No peeing in the bush. How dare you. You before you get a chance to shoot poison arrows at me. Alright, there's this guy. Wow, it's like taking candy from babies here. That was awesome. That was just awesome. Um, what needed tweaking was the resolution settings. I had that set a little too high. Because when I was doing the videos for YouTube, which ironically was also Black Desert, I had the uh, settings a little bit larger so that it would get like the full screen effect. But of course Twitch doesn't like that. Okay. 
Oh crap, I need to kill eight of these guys? Okay, murder spree coming up. I'll take your money. Let's see. There's one of you guys in here, so... Once again, we'll take down your shoddy construction. And you're out! Or not. Why aren't you out? Now you're out. There's this little dude. Come here! Oh, that was easy. Hm. Alright, so you're gone. You're gone. You guys have something here in the rubble. Oh, it's another one of these rings! Damn it! Okay, what can I get rid of here? What is this? Refined stone. I need that. I'm trying to upgrade my house, too. Will you quit? Oh my god, you people! Stop that! Okay, can I go back over here and get this, please? Um, I'm gonna get the weeds out. Yeah, we can do that later. Oh no, wait, I just got rid of one. I wanna get rid of all five. Okay, all... Firm. <sighs> just got rid of one again. Seriously? Press F. That will get rid of all. Confirm. Yes. And now the ring's gone. Took too damn long to get rid of stuff. <sighs> Moving on. Oh, it's these guys. I'm hoping I get another mini-boss. Uh, the way that this game does mini-bosses is you get a scroll, often from the Black Spirit, and you've got to take that scroll to a designated area, and it will then allow you to spawn the mini-boss. You're supposed to have, like, a party, or maybe, like, another player to help you with the mini-boss. I never do that. Valkyrie's OP. What can I say? Oh, this guy just gave up. Seriously, man? Come on! Where's your sense of adventure? There you go. Come on. One more time. Alright. I'll give you a third one. Very nice. Very nice. I like your form. Okay, my turn. Alright, there we go. Um, I think I need more of those big guys. Where are they? Oh, wait. No, who's that over there? Oh, there's you. Okay. One very important thing about this game. Yeah, they would... They should give a little bit more time. Or they should have, like, an auto-loot function, but... I don't know. But anyway, like I was saying, one very important thing about this game is if you do not have knowledge of the creatures that you are attacking, you will not be able to see their health bar going down. It'll change color from like yellow to red, but until you get knowledge of the creature and know how to more efficiently beat them, you won't see their health bar going down. See like this little dude, well, he was probably not a good test subject there because he just went down in two hits. But we'll try Dr. Mofungo over here. You'll see his health bar is going down because I now have knowledge of this guy. But if there were new enemies around here that I've never attacked before, their health bars would not go down at all. You'll just see a change in color. The hell is shooting at me. Oh, you're in there. Okay, well you wait till I'm done looting. I'm going to slice you. I'm going to dice you. Perfect example, the house that I just tore down. I don't have enough knowledge of how to defeat those yet, so the health bar changes from yellow to red before it disappears. I'll keep destroying houses in a moment here, and that should show you what I mean. If I can find another house, that is. Over here. Don't chase me, you will regret it. Huh? They never learn. Okay, so here's one of the houses. When I attack it, you'll see its health bar at the top is yellow. Slowly but surely, it's turning red. Holy 
crap, look at all that blood. Damnation. Oh, it's you! So if I keep attacking these houses, eventually I will gain more knowledge. And when you gain more knowledge, they become a hell of a lot easier to destroy. Which I think is a unique way of doing that, because when you first encounter something, you don't know how strong it is. Occasionally you'll see like the name above, where the name might be red or purple, which might give you an indication that if I go after this, it's probably going to end badly. But other than that, you really don't have a way of knowing whether or not your attack on something is going to be fruitful. And then of course, once you gain knowledge, you can just watch the health go down. Of course, it doesn't help that I have been upgrading my weapons and armor on the regular, so I highly doubt any of these guys will get the drop on me. Okay, so I have something over here, and I don't know what it is, but there's a yellow circle, so we're going to go in here and see if we can commit some murder here. Alright, there's Dr. Mafungo. The witch doctor of days are over, son. And then there's this dude. Ooh, I like that. That's the other little thing I love about this. If you uh, swing at grass, you'll end up cutting the grass, so... If I wanted to, I could become, like, a lawnmower woman here. Apparently this grass has already been mowed. Hi guys! Hi, I'm here for Dr. Mafongo. We have an appointment. Whatever happened to patient Dr. Confidentiality here? Sheesh. No, son! No! 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 Hey there, Hariga! I am absolutely in love with this game. That is just about all I can say about it. I am absolutely in love with this game. There is very few things about this game, or there are very few things about this game that I can honestly say are an annoyance. And even so, they're like a minor annoyance. There is just something about the way the developers are doing this thing that is very smooth, combat is very fluid. The quests, even though a lot of them are your standard RPG type quests, it doesn't really feel like you're grinding, like you're doing a lot of work. Now I have heard rumors that when this thing comes to the West it will be more grindy to quote unquote accommodate Western audiences, but I can't imagine there's too many of us here in the West that would really appreciate a more grindy game. But I will say that playing as a Valkyrie, it does seem a little bit easier for me. I have yet to die in this game, and I've been playing it for a couple of weeks now. Actually, no, longer than that, almost a month. So yeah, everything is really, really cool. Light blue bar at the top of the screen. Um, I don't see a light blue bar. Oh! That light blue bar. I think that is probably my um, arrow. You know, like the window, because I've got this thing in windowed mode. So yeah, that's actually the window that you're seeing. But that actually brings to mind a very good point. You'll notice up here, up here, and up here. Oh wait, Dr. Mafongo's getting froggy. Hold on, let me kill him first. Here's another one of those houses. Still no knowledge yet. Hmm. Wonder if she hadn't gotten rolled over here. Alright, I'm gonna go out of the camp. Okay, now I can show you. So yeah, this is the skills that you've learned. Dude, do you mind? I'm trying to show something off here. You, sir, are rude. That's right, take a chill pill. Give me that. Okay. So as I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted, this indicates that I've got some skill points, and this indicates that I have some knowledge. So if I click on this, 
The knowledge that I've gained is of the area of Old Dandelion, which of course will also put it on my map without the fog of war. And Hariga, yes, that's what I thought as well. And from my understanding, when this game first started the uh, closed beta tests, it was a hell of a lot more grindy than it is now in open beta. So I don't know if that was a deliberate change on their part, or if they're just trying, you know, different settings to see which sticks. But whatever the case, right now it feels like it could be a little bit more challenging, just not to the extreme that they're normally used to doing in Korea. Anyway, what I've got up here is the uh, skill point window. You can see my skill tree. There's so many different things to master. Each of these skills, if you mouse over it, it will give you a little video at the bottom that tells you the key combination to use. There is no tab targeting in this sucker, and I'm extremely grateful for that. It's pure action, and the more you learn the key combinations, the more actions open up to you. Right now I've got stamina training, I've got four skill points that I can assign, and this needs three stamina training. Magic defense is improved, which is good since Dr. Mafongo likes to throw fireballs at me. Go ahead and do that. Whenever you learn a skill away from a trainer, it costs you some of your spirit. So you'll see like these three um, health bars, or black calling them anything else. The spirit one, you use that whenever you do things like mining, I believe or training and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of like, I guess kind of like an exhaustion meter or something like that. Your contribution, that's for like buying stuff like houses or hiring workers and stuff like that. And this is where your skill points. So once this bar reaches full, you get another skill point and so on. You can get multiple skill points before you even gain a level. As you can see, I'm currently level 40 and this is my XP bar going across there. Alright, so now that that is done, um, I think I've completed all the quests in this area. Let's check the map real quick. Zoom in, hold the left mouse button and move it around. I think there are three check marks here, which is good. That's what I'm looking for. Alright. It looks like I gotta go right back through the lion's den. Okay, so, I'll head you off at the pass. Thanks for playing. And we'll cut through here. Of course, all these guys are going to try chasing me. You can try. Good luck to you. Uh huh. Are you going to make it or are you going to turn around? Smart move on your part. Okay, shall we? Shall. All of this started because I was trying to get back to my hometown of Heidelberg, and I got sidetracked. Never fails. Okay, uh, sorry there, metal boobs. Didn't mean to bump into you there. I'm here for my money. Complete. So what do I get? Contribution XP and another skill point. So there you go. We don't actually have to wait for the bar to fill up they can give us skill points, so it is possible to do a lot with your skill tree before you even reach like max level, which honestly, I'm still not 100% sure what max level is. I know originally it was 50, but I've seen people who have higher than level 50, so I really don't know what the max actually is. I think it's just one of those things where it just keeps going up. Alright, so there's these guys, we'll butt into their conversation again. Hi. I'm here for my health potion. Thank you. Appreciate that. You're a gentleman and a scholar. And hi. Look at me when I'm talking to you. What is this? Thank you. You've tied the hands and feet of the guy. Just one guy? Okay. That's what I do. Thank you. And I didn't have to give any of them laxatives. This is even better. Oh, I just got a title. Sweet. Well, let me see what my title is. Alright, I want to go to my account. This is, of course, your character window. Yeah, max level, I haven't figured that out yet. But you know what? I'm just going to keep gaining XP, so I don't care. 
Okay, so 50 is a soft cap. After that, you level up super slowly. Hmm. So what's the highest that uh, someone has actually achieved? What have you seen? Because I know you've been playing this game for a lot longer. Meanwhile, I'm going to take a look at my titles here. 55 or 56 or even higher. Wow. All right, so I got a few more titles here. Uh, let's see. I don't even remember what I have up right now. It's not Novice Adventurer, that's for sure. Okay, it's Those Who Have Common Sense. That pretty much describes me to a T right there. All right, where am I going? Um, I've completed all of that. That's the mining node. I don't want that. I'm not going to spend five years trying to mine silver here. I think I am going to try and get back to Heidelberg. Grab the horse. Uh, we'll stop here because this guy wants us to shoot some eagles with his little uh, shotgun. So we'll do this first and then we'll head back to Heidelberg. Sound like a plan? Come on, Gita. It's just one small drop. Seriously? Seriously. You can do this. You've fallen off of mountains before. Come on. Thank you. <sighs> Women. Okay, so now we have the long run. I've got it on auto run, which by default is letter T. T as in tango. And now I can admire her in all my beauty and ask the most important question that's been on my mind for a long time. How in the hell do I get more dyes other than using the cash shop? Because as much as I like her uh, purple dress and makes her look a little bit different, I would rather have a slightly more vibrant looking purple. And for the life of me, I can't figure out how to get more dyes. Okay, that was the uh, harpy area. So we're done with that. And let me check something here. Can only use a die window in an idle stance. Okay, well, that's good to know. Hmm. And what's the deal with the cash shop? I know the cash shop exists, I just don't know how I can actually utilize it. Like, can I use my PayPal card for that? That would be nice if I could, because I'll throw all kinds of money at this. The Koreans will love me by the time I'm done. There is one costume in there that I really, really, really like. Yeah, I got the dye in the mileage. That's how I did the um, coloration of her dress now. And there was another one that I got that I think was a reward for either reaching a level or doing something else. Which, speaking of which, I notice I do have a reward here. Okay, so here's the mileage thing. So I've been getting these. Click that. And what is this? Oh, Blackstone for the weapon. Okay, yes. I need that. I need that. And what is this? Oh, these are the ones that you can give to other characters, I think. Or other players. Battle skill points. Four. Oh, hell yeah. Speed. Yes, I do want that because I do a lot of running. I've got one horse, two donkeys, and I choose to run. All right, what do I need? Uh, three slots. Mmm... What can I get rid of? All right, you know what? I'll hold off on that until I get to Heidelberg and dump some of this stuff in my warehouse. Hopefully they will do something about the die system and not just make it a cash shop, because that I could see as a little bit of a downside, but by the same token, considering this game is free to play, They've got to make their money somehow, so, you know, I can't really argue with them too much about it. I know Guild Wars 2 does a lot of cosmetic stuff in their cash shop. Granted, not really dies, but then they've got that pretty robust economy where you can get stuff on a trading post. And all of the best dies are hideously expensive. But, yeah. Yeah, I would like to see a bit more options on getting dies in this game. Other than just using the cash shop. I don't mind the costumes being in a cash shop, because, you know, that's just fluff. That's like playing dress-up with your character. So yeah, that's fine, but dyes, especially since everybody's got the same exact armor, would be kind of nice to have a little bit more variation, maybe. Davis, we'll come back to you afterwards. Alright, we are almost to Heidelberg. 
or by the Demi Riverside. I still have not finished any of the fishing quests that I have to do. I think I did the first one where I had to catch some terrapins or something like that. Turtles. If I were super rich, yeah, I definitely could get some there. However, <clears throat> yeah, about that. Do you see how much money I've got? 36,117 silver. But I've got a very valid reason as to why that is. I've been spending money on my house. Gotta get furniture, you know. Alright, this I believe is where we are headed. So... Let's see what's going on over here. In the hell? Why is that telling me I gotta go all the way up there? Seriously? Oh, I know this farm. This is the farm of the dead cows because the eagles have been attacking their cows. Okay. Hey there, sir. Remember me? Yes, I would like to rent your training matchlock, please. Contribution needed, two. I have five. Okay. Thank you very much. House system is super addictive. Oh my god, I have not seen a house system this cool since, like, Star Wars Galaxies. Alright, Ostrich Belief. Wait, what? Can you believe an eagle can hunt a cow? Yeah, I can. I've played Far Cry 4, man. I'll believe anything. I've seen eagles take up pigs. Or yaks. Oh, look at that. I just got a challenge achievement. Very nice. Okay. Um, wait. Is this Scarecrow? <laughs> yeah, I am super rich. 36,000 in a house. Actually, I've got several houses. That's one of the beautiful things about this game, is you can own multiple houses and purpose them to various things. Ooh, Calpheon couch. Want? Alright, uh, what do you have here? Milk? Nope. I am no milk drinker. Eggs? Chicken? Nope. Killed enough of them in Skyrim. Concentrated herbs? Cereals? Juice? Concentrate? Yeah, that sounds good. Give me that. There is no empty slot in your inventory. <sighs> oh, there's this. But of course I can't equip it. Why? Because I've got all this other crap. So, let's get rid of this. What is this? Ruby. Do I need that for anything? I'm not planning on making a ring. Uh, we'll just equip it. There we go. Okay, now I got a gun. Eater got a gun. Alright, and how do I use this thing? That's the real question. Excuse me, sir. Be very quiet. We hunting eagles. Holy crap! You missed! Uh, let's go out here where there's a little bit more leeway. Mm. Did I get him? No! I did not. Oh crap. You know what? Hold on. Let's do this. First person mode. All of a sudden it feels like I'm playing Duck Hunt all over again. Gotcha! Maybe I didn't. This is harder than it looks. How many shots do you get with this thing anyway? Um, luckily graphics cards are easy enough to replace, so you can probably get something relatively cheap online if you try like, uh, what is it, Tiger Direct, or the other one I use is Cyber Power PC. Come on, bird, die! Are you kidding me? He even stopped in mid-air and I missed him. Seriously? <sighs> Alright. I need to go back to training. Get me back into Far Cry 4 here. At least I can hit eagles there. Come on. Oh, I got one! Holy crap, I got one. Can I loot him? Where is he? Uh, he appears to have disappeared. Okay, well, you know what? I'm happy. I got one. I got a kick-ass rifle. Needs a scope. It's going through the head of a cow. Okay, well, that was fun. I was approved. 
Dude, you could have told me this rifle had a lot of recoil. That would have been nice to know. And more of this. Okay, do I have spot now? No, I do not. <sighs> okay, what can I get rid of? All this stuff I need to sell to the uh, commerce traders. Ring of Talis. Wait, I've got one? I thought I missed it. Alright, well, we'll equip this. So that way I can get rid of the old one. This gives me max HP plus 15. This enemy gravity. I have no idea what enemy gravity is, unless it's like how hard I can slam them to the ground, which would be nice. Okay, talk to me again, buddy. I'm ready this time. Give me my cereal juice. Thank you. And what is this? All stuff that does not go in my inventory. I will take that too. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. Mind if I hold on to this gun? I might need it sometime. Never know, I might want to go all Bonnie and Clyde, only without the Clyde. Alright, but for now, we're going to put that back on, and we're going to put that back on. Beans. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. Good luck with your cows and your eagles. I'm out. Okay, so, we were heading back to Heidelberg, when suddenly this happened. And I'm thinking once we get to Heidelberg, I'll check out that statue. I'll stop by the warehouse dude and see if I can dump off some of this crap that's currently in my inventory. Provided, of course, my warehouse is not full. Show you around the house and then move on to other areas. Try not to get run over by horses. Jeez, good thing there's no collision. Alright, so we are closing in on town, and again, I'm getting the high encoding thing, but I think that's probably because there is lag galore in this area. So, welcome to Heidelberg. Funny thing about this place. I was absolutely shocked and amazed that they had a town called Heidelberg, considering the fact that where I live in real life, is a town in Pennsylvania, a suburb of Pittsburgh, that just happens to be named Heidelberg. Hmm. Coincidence? Or not? Oh lord, it's lag central! Holy crap! I'm just gonna stand here for a second while my uh, computer decides to freak out. Wow, look at all those players. It's almost as many with English names as there are Korean. Hmm. Alright, warehouse dude, I know you're in here somewhere. Come on, give the guy some breathing room here. Poor dude. Okay, yeah, whatever, buddy, whatever. Just, um, yeah, thank you. Oh, thank God I've got space. Alright, tin ore, we're gonna put you in there. Press F, press confirm, done. Lead ore, we're gonna put you in there. Press F, confirm, and done. And this. Oh, you've only got the onboard car. Really? I did not know that. I did not know that no more. Hmm. I could have sworn you had, like, um, a full graphics card or whatever. Alright, that I need because there's a quest that I need to turn that in with. Uh, cereals, juice, concentrate. We'll keep that. Fire flake, flower. Never know when that'll come in handy. Gita might decide to get a girlfriend or something. A bundle of fire flake flowers. Okay, that three times fast. Ruby, we'll throw that in there. Um, pointy resin gathering tool. Now there is a scientific name if I've ever seen one. It's better than this other one. Okay, so maybe we'll throw that in there for safekeeping. Lumbering axe. Don't I have one? Yes, I do. Okay, we'll throw you in there because I only want one. I'm missing a... Wait, what is this? Maybe you... What? When did I get this? Uh, okay. And I need more workers housing before I can use this one, but I can't get it out of my inventory. Spring water. Nope, not thirsty. Throw you in inventory. Number herb. I'm not sure what number, but we're going to throw you in there as well. Bait for fishing. Fishing pole. Concentrated herbs. Yeah, we're getting rid of all this crap. 
That's the other thing about inventory. Um, it's been done in other games before, but there is encumbrance. So it's more than just the number of slots. If you are too encumbered, walk slow. Which I think is a really cool thing, but some people might not like it. Alright, go ahead and throw that. This I know I can give to an NPC and get some good stuff for, so we'll hold on to that. And of course I'm going to hold on to my gun. Holy crap, it just got dark out there. What in the hell? Freaking Armageddon rolling through here. What? Oh my god. So yeah, remember me telling you about this dynamic weather that this game has? Uh, yeah, here's a prime example of it. Here, what in the hell is this? Holy crap. Okay, you know what? I'm heading to the house. Oh, I still need to find that um, that statue. I need to investigate this statue thing. Let's see if I can get through here without lagging to hell. Hey, Subi Twist! Long time no see! And yes, it is good to be streaming again. I'm just glad that I actually had a day off to where I could do it, because my day job has been keeping me very busy, shall we say. So yeah, this is my house. Got a couple of items in here that I probably still can't use. I've got this anvil, which I don't think I have any knowledge of how to repair stuff, so yeah. It looks nice on the rug! Got the alchemy stuff, which I do have some alchemy skill, but I don't really use it that much. I was the same way in Skyrim. And here's the kitchen. Cooking, I do. I like cooking. Cooking is cool. Yeah, that would be really cool. And you know, actually, Sectus, that reminds me of something else. One thing I wish they would do with this game. I wish the night time would last longer. I'm a huge fan of nighttime, and the fact that nighttime is only like, what, 15, 20 minutes at the most? Kind of sucks. Especially since daytime is, what, two hours? Almost three hours? Oh, and I just discovered this. Had no clue I could open the windows in my house. That is so awesome. So freaking awesome. I love that. And here's these guys. They're still hanging out here playing the same old song over and over and over and over. My day job is in a call center. So I'm back to doing that kind of work again, not surprisingly. I always seem to be doing stuff with my voice. And here's a bedroom. Take a rest. Just a little one. Still a work in progress, but gives you an idea of uh, what you can do with housing. Uh, you may notice those two icons at the top. That is pretty important for here. The one on the left, um, right now it doesn't do anything because I don't have any special underwear that I can change, but if you click it, supposedly your character will walk around in their underwear when in the house. Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't need to do that. You don't need to see Gita's underwear. But this batch mode thing, this is how you do your house decoration. So you got like all these various areas, you can pan around, you can use the W, A, S, and D to move around, you can go from one floor to another. So this is the second floor here. Don't ask me why there's a cat and a dog running around over there, I have no idea what that's all about, that's probably the neighbors. But yeah, you have your items here, look at them, look at them go, what the hell? Your items are here. Everything that's checkmarked is currently in the house. There's premium items that you can buy. That's everything that's got a P next to it, which obviously is really swanky looking stuff, but I can't afford it just yet. I agree with you on that, Sectus. I have not played Dragon's Dogma. I've only seen like some vids of it, but yes, I agree with you totally. I love Dark, Dark Nights. Where you actually need to have a lantern on your character to see what the hell you're doing and the monsters are stronger. They're on the right path with Black Desert by making the monsters stronger at night, but it just needs to be longer, so you actually feel like there's more consequence if you decide to venture out at night. You know, that would be really cool, so I hope they fix that. Alright, but yeah, that's the, the basics of housing. When I get more items, I can plop them all over the place. For now, hopefully that rain has subsided because it appears our clothes have finally dried and I can never make it around this stupid corner. Uh, yeah, it looks like the rain has subsided. Actually, it subsided before. Hmm. Okay. 
want to check the map and see where I'm going to need to go next. Decided we're not doing this because that involves mining. This is also mining. Or is it? No, this is identify the trees. So what do I do? Just stand there and be like, that one's an oak. That one's a pine. And it looks like everything else I have is in Calpheon, so eventually I'm going to need to make my way back over there. Alright, not a problem. Not a problem. Now, I did have that one quest where I've got to explore a statue or something like that. I know it's in Heidelberg, I just don't know where. Rotate this thing around here. That's the other thing I love about this map. Look at this crap! This is insane! Who the hell makes a map like this? This is nuts! And as if that were not enough, you've got your regular information, then you've got your resources, which from my understanding depletes over time as people, you know, get the resources in that area. Groundwater information, don't ask me what the hell that's used for. Busyness. Temperature, which right now is not a huge deal because there's really not that much variation in the terrain, but from my understanding the desert portion of Black Desert is probably coming soon. So we'll get to see if temperature has an effect on your character. Humidity, which I can tell you is also pretty cool, because that's got like the fog. And I think, I'm not 100% certain, but I'm thinking that has something to do with the dynamic weather as well. Like whether or not you get rainstorms coming through. So yeah, good stuff. Poison the wells. <laughs> yeah, that would be good actually. I might do that. Alright. Let me pull up my questing journal. I always forget which key it is, so I've got to open this crap. O. I should remember that. O. It's always O. Okay, so this one we're not doing. Um, identify the trees we're going to. Calpheon Garrison Captain. Yeah, we need to talk to him. Mm, let's see. Where is the one for Heidelberg? I had it here earlier. Let's see, zone, Serendia, type, all, where's my quest go? Okay, let's just go all, that's all it's giving me, well what the hell man? Hmm, that's curious, well, uh yes, this game is free to play, as for how to obtain it, Send me a PM. Send me a PM. I'll hook you up. Alright, um, I think there was one other thing I needed to do here. What the hell was- Oh, yeah, my money! Yeah, Gita gotta get paid, know what I'm saying? Can't be running around here like a peon, I need my money. Okay, um, I believe the guy with my money is in here somewhere. Ah, this is him. Dude! It's time to pay up. What? You're not gonna give me the money? You want my gun instead? No! No! Fuck you! No! Loser. If I ever do any adventures for him anymore. Alright, so I guess I am done in here because I can't find the statue that I'm supposed to be doing something with. Oh wait, what is this? There's a quest over here. What is this? What do you have? You might be able to play it on, I don't know, maybe low settings, but honestly even low settings in this game look pretty freaking phenomenal. Ciudad Rudder Trade Commission. Wow, that's like a combination of two different languages there. Ciudad is Spanish for city. And what the rudder has to do with it, I have no idea. Hmm. Okay, what do I need to do with this? Um, yeah. I have no idea what you want me to do, lady. Okay. I do like your outfit, though. It's very nice. Moving on! Okay, so I think now it's time to introduce Fudge to the game, and right over to Calpheon. Fudge, by the way, is my horse. Uh, lag central... Here we go, more lag... 
Just what you tuned in for. Holy crap, look at all the horses all over this place. Good lord, this dude is drowning in horse poop. Hi. I have my horse, please. Whatever you say, buddy. I'm just here for my horse. Thank you. There we go. There is Fudge. Fudge is a horse that I got as a result of a quest. And he's, quite frankly, one of the best horses I've ever had in the game. Alright, Fudge. We're gonna get out of here now. And apparently I still have supplies in his little inventory bag. The horses do have little inventory bags that you can stuff stuff in. So I'll have to see if it's anything useful, but I'm gonna go to a spot where there's not that many people. Whoa! Whoa, Fudge! Whoa! 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 whoa. What did I just say? Whoa! Thank you. Alright, open bag, F2. Bam! Uh, what do I have? A tanning knife and a red tree tumor. Okay. Not quite sure why I have that. I'll go ahead and take it, though. Oh, wait, I wonder if that um, little Florin girl, Lara, could use this. I'm gonna go find out. She is pretty close by. Yeah, see, she's got the same icon over her head. This is Lara. She's actually one of my favorite little people. I'm not really too keen on races or species that actually look like kids, but something about her. I like her. She's cool. Maybe it's the voice. Reminds me of an ex-girlfriend. Uh, Lara's new challenge. Okay. Poultices? Yes, got you, got you. What do you need? Uh-huh. You cannot always count on God. Whoa! Whoa! I ain't religious or anything, but I think you're gonna piss off a lot of people with that statement. Alright, what am I looking for? Okay, thank you. Red wooden lump. Okay, see, there we go. Red wooden lump. That's what I just took out of the saddlebag. So, we're gonna go ahead and give that to you, and just like that, quest done. I love you too. Thank you for my reward. Okay, that's good to know, Lara. I will talk to you later. Let me know if you decide that you want to do any tomb raiding. I'll go with you. You must be this tall to raid tombs. Alright, Fudge. We are out of here. Let's see, where are we going? Look at that. There's a rainstorm just the south. There's another one just to the west. One along this road here. Holy crap. It's almost starting to look like Pittsburgh. Alright, I'm thinking we're going to travel to Calpheon because it looks like the majority of stuff that I have is over here. So I'm just going to pick one of these and we're going to go there. Fruit basket. Wait, what? I don't even want to know. Okay. That's where we're going. Auto run. It's going to take us a while to get there. But it should be considerably quicker than having Gita run. Now another question that I have. Maybe somebody knows. I've seen on the rivers, occasionally there's like this sailboat. There it is right now. Look at that. Perfect timing. You can see it there on the river, right about there. Can I get into that boat? Ooh, Lara? I always say Lara. <laughs> Why would anyone pronounce it Lara? There's no U. It's Lara. Oh yeah, I like playing Lara Croft. But yeah, that boat. Can you actually get on that thing and is that like another travel type device or is it just decoration basically? Because I know the harbor masters that are at the docks there will allow you to utilize your boat if you have one, but obviously I don't have one, so I'm trying to find a quicker way to get to Calpheon other than taking fudge and running across the wilderness here. What in the hell was that? What was that? Is that a sheep? I could have sworn that was a sheep. 
There goes dinner. Oh, Davis. No, wait, that's not Davis. That's Toya. Get out of the way, Toya! That's funny. I've got a cousin named Toya. There's this lady. I know what she wants. She wants me to grab a bag of grain and uh, give it to the guys up the top there. I would agree with you. It is not Laura Croft. And I don't know why people always pronounce it like that. It's Lara. And the thing is, the games have voice acting. She says it. Lara. Everybody in the game says it. Lara. Ah, drives me nuts. I might go back and mess with it with the bolt uh, later. I want to see if I can find Davis, because I did say I was going to stop by and see what he wants. Look at that. Monsters enjoying the scenery. How cute. Probably having a romantic moment over there. You know, I've always wanted to tell you how much I admire you. Oh, you really, really are cute. I especially love your straggly teeth. Or something like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, Fudge. Hi, Davis. As soon as I can get Fudge to stop, I'm going to talk to you. Davis, a.k.a. Elk Boy. What's up? C.R. Bajo on fresh milk. Really? Okay, so you want me to search for Marana. Okay. Um, where was Marana last seen? You're not really helping me. Located on top of Mountain Village or Search Ranch Lynch. Um, wait. Are you following me? Oh my god, you're following me. Fudge, let's get the hell out of here. Where am I going with this guy? I don't know. Really? Are you kidding me? All the way up in this hill. Alright. But you better stay close, buddy. I know you don't have a horse, but you've got hooves, so... Hop to it, buddy. Run! Run! Put your back into it. Channel the spirit of Usain Bolt. Come on, goat boy. We ain't got all day. Okay, you got a right turn coming up. You can catch your breath for a second. Come on, let's go. The last time I did an escort quest like this, I lost the person. I'm actually ashamed to even say it. I didn't look behind to see if they were still following, and I lost them in, like, the Fogan wetlands or something like that. I think probably one of the froggy dudes absconded with them. Hey, look at that! Just keep running, man! Just keep running, don't stop. Tell him, ain't nobody got time for that. See, there you go. Alright, so yeah, I'm keeping an eye on this guy since I'm on auto run anyway. I'm pretty sure it's not going to put me in an area where I can't get out. Hey, look, another player. Hi! Hi! I like your armor. And your dress. Your dress is cool, too. I have a ranger, but I have not yet played my ranger. Honestly, like I said in the beginning, Valkyrie is just my absolute favorite. I can't get enough of Valkyrie. Dude, get out of my horse's way! Oh, what in the hell? You did not just hit my horse. No! No, no, no! How dare you! Look at this sucker over here! Yeah, instead of worrying about the horse, you just need to worry about me. All right, where were we? Come on, elk boy. Let's go. Okay, so. That was interesting. Here we go again. Come on, people. All right, stop. Stop, stop. Look at that. They make a beeline for the damn horse. Good thing I upgraded Fudge when I did, otherwise it would be a very long trip. Okay, and we're off. Wait, where in the hell is this thing taking us? 
I'm not very optimistic about this here. This looks a little bit treacherous. Goat boy, how are you doing? Oh, you're fine. You've got boobs. Hmm. You heading the right way? I'm hoping so. Seriously, if I saw this in real life, I would have been like, no, I'm done. I'm going back to the house. Sorry. This is for the goats. Hey, look at that. It's a goat. Oh, sweet. I don't think I've ever been up here. Hmm. Oh, yes, I have. Yeah, I remember that guy now. Alright, um, you stop right here. I think you should be safe. I don't see any more of those imp-looking dudes. So, there we go. Goat boy, this is your destination. So, talk to this guy. Here we go. Darby has enshrined a Buddhist monk. What did the Buddhist monk do to him? That's the position. Did not find strange shape. Oh, okay. No, I was supposed to be looking for one. What do we have here? Speed buff and health buff. I'm gonna go with speed buff only because I like to run. I might not know it, but I can run like a fool. Okay, what is this trade commission? Sheep will not get away. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, okay. Good luck to you and your sheep. Are these um, trade commission quests new? Because I don't recall seeing these last week. Hmm. Now that we're up here, we'll enjoy the scenery a little bit. I'm thinking that is where Velia Town is, because that looks like the ocean over there, and then that huge overrun castle that's got all the imps. So which means in that direction should be Heidelberg, and where we're going is just beyond the Harpy Castle, which you can see right about there. If Gita's hair was out of the way, you'd actually see where I'm pointing. Oh wait, is her hair moving? Holy crap, her hair is blowing. That's so cute. That's a Kodak moment. Come on, baby, camera loves you. Look at that. Camera loves you! Alright. We're ready. Let's go. Where's Fudge? So that was fun. Alright, now, Calpheon. I need the quickest, most efficient way to get to Calpheon that does not involve getting chased by five million enemies. I think I may have found it. Oh, hell no! They want us to go back down the way we came. Nope, that ain't happening. Alright, so here's how we're gonna do this. They say the shortest distance between two points. Oh, yeah, the clouds are blowing. Huh. That is a very good point. I did not notice that. Just another thing that I absolutely love about this game. Although I will say this, it looks like the weather is starting to give an FPS hit, just a slight FPS hit, but I think that is partially due to the fact that I am live streaming this, because I've never noticed it when I play just without live streaming. What? Come on, jump! What the hell, Fudge? Seriously? Alright, so we're going this way. Arrow on the ground says to the right. Uh, can I go this way? Hmm, what is this? Just a little ravine. Okay, we can do this. I have yet to catch a wild horse, and I'm a little bit leery about doing that, considering the fact that I've seen so many videos of people taking five years to catch a wild horse. I'm just like, hmm, yeah, now pass. Okay, is there a bridge around here somewhere? I don't know if my horse can swim. Well, no time like the present to find out. Holy crap! Horse cannot swim! Sorry, horse. Where'd you go? Are you dead? Did I kill my horse? I think I may have killed my horse, people. Yeah, the horse is dead. Oh, alas, poor Fudge, we knew him. Oh wait, no, there he is! 
Fudge! Get out of the water! What in the hell are you doing, man? Come on, let's go! Can I not ride you while I'm in the water? Oh, snap. going to be like that, is it? Well, I must save Fudge before he drowns. So, here's how we're going to do this. Mount has suffered damage. Oh my god, he's dead! He's really dead! No, Fudge! Oh my god! I told you to get out the water, you dumb horse! Good thing I took the stuff out of your bags. Okay, so... Remember that, um... Fried fish that I got? Yeah, that's what I was gonna do, was to whistle for the horse, but it died before I had a chance to do that, so... Well, we're back down to the donkeys. Alright. So... Poor horsey. I knew him well. He was free! That's like the best price for a horse! <sighs> oh well. <laughs> yeah, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't save him. Alright, so, mental note. Buy a new horse. In the meantime, we've got the donkeys. Which I think I left them in Heidelberg. But luckily I got that fried fish, and since I love to run... Yep. Ha 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 ha, PETA! I swear, no horses were harmed in the filming of this live stream. I promise you. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Hmm, I wonder where I can get another horse. Can I buy them on the auction, I guess? I guess, huh. We'll get Fudge 2.0. So yeah, I think I'll do that. When I get to Calpheon, I'll check to see if they have like any horses on the trading post. And we'll get a new Fudge. I like Fudge. Fudge is good. Speaking of which, I've got chocolate chip cookies. I'm gonna have one right now. Mmm. Nom 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 nom. Now see, this is one of those things where I wish this game was a little bit like Park Age. Because that person on a horse in front of me, I could just jump on the back of their horse, provided they were going where I'm going. And there you go, problem solved. But, as you can see, Gita's got powerful legs, so we're not going to worry about it. She's doing just fine on her own. Fudge Stealer! As long as he doesn't pack him anywhere. So, lessons were learned. Don't take your horse to the water. If your horse gets stuck in the water, get out quicker and blow the whistle to call the horse. Lessons were learned. Oh, we're almost there. Holy crap. So if we would have made it past that river, we probably would have been there by now. Hmm. That's a shame. That's a damn shame. Alright, so we're probably not going to do this fruit basket thing yet. That's a shame, too, because I got fudged to, what, level 11, I think? One day's ass knife pe Wait, this is... Oh, son of a... Okay, you know what? I was going to Heidelberg and bothering that dude for the money. This is where I needed to go to get the money. Hell, we're doing that one instead. Sorry, Gita, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. Go on, continue running. Well, 
Realistically, I'm glad that they fixed that, that the horses can die if you leave them underwater. But I wish they would have given me a little bit more time. That would have been great if the horse could swim, too. That would be lovely. I'm going to keep going on and on about this horse, because honestly, I've never lost a mount until now. And I like this music, by the way. That's the other thing I really love about this game, is the music. It's just absolutely incredible. As a musician for like the last 27 years, yeah, that is important to me. Okay, are you are you back here, dude? Wait, which one are you? Okay, obviously you're not that guy, so you've got to be the giant. Who the hell does this? Seriously, people, you couldn't park your wagons elsewhere. Um, Olivia, this is the Valkyrie. This is Gita, my Valkyrie. She is the love of my life, and quite frankly, if I could figure out how to put a ring on her virtual finger, I probably would. Steeds is already the determined in a marriage. Are you are you marrying that donkey? What's with the horseshoe? I don't know what you're trying to say there, buddy, but let me see what you got. In the shop, that is. Hmm. Hey, look at that! We can get another fudge! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Problem is, I don't have a saddle or anything, because that all went down the river. Ah, what the hell? We're gonna buy another fudge. Do I have them? I do. Alright, very nice. Stable. My pay can be used to register a horse. Okay, that is exactly what I want to do. Register item. Please name your horse. Fudge 2.0. Let it be allowed. Only English and number. No space. Fine. Budge. Junior. Alright! We got Fudge Junior. Yes! Yes! And he's level one. Great. Okay. Sir, I need you to take care of Fudge for me because I've got some business in the city. 